Hi, my name is Alec Rodriguez with American Innovations, here to talk to you about the brand new RM5 series Rectifier Remote Monitor. This RMU is a brace to install and is designed to withstand the most extreme conditions it'll encounter in the field. Find a suitable voltage source in the secondary taps between 10 and 42 volts AC. Power off the rectifier to ensure a safe installation. Find a suitable mounting location for the power supply. Connect the input of the rectifier to the voltage source that you identified on the secondary taps. Make your connections across the positive and negative outputs of the rectifier and across a shunt to go to the input module of the RMU. Find a suitable mounting location for the RM5 IO4 module. The terminal blocks have been pre-wired for your convenience. Connect the outputs of the rectifier to the desired inputs of the I.O. module. Connect the output of the power supply to the input power of the I.O. module. If you're installing a relay for interruption, find a suitable location to mount that relay. Connect the power inputs of the relay to a 7 to 30 volt source identified on the secondary taps. Hook up the outputs of the relay across the taps you want to interrupt. Find a simple location for the RM510C communications module. You will need to drill one half inch hole on the bottom of the rectifier to pass the cable which connects to the RM5 IO4 module. Feed the M8 cable through the hole you just drilled. Secure the cable with the included grommet to ensure a watertight seal. Connect the M8 connector to the dome or ION connection on the IO4 module. If you'd like to learn more, contact a member of our sales team, or if you have technical questions, call our support line or email us at support at AIWorldwide.com.